Okay, so we just learned that here is the formula to find the area of a circle. It's area equals pi, which sometimes will be 3.14, and sometimes it will just be pi, times r. r stands for the radius of a circle. And we know that a radius is from the center to the outside. That's what a radius is. And that is squared. And really what that means is it's pi times r times r. When you square anything, a number or a letter, it's always times itself. So if you look at this first problem, here's the circle that Gaspar drew. The first thing we did is we found the radius and we started at the center and we went across to the edge. Now, look at this. It doesn't matter if you go there or here, okay? No matter what, your radius is always four. So we plug in the value of the radius. So it's pi times radius squared. So it's four units. Units is just because there's no feet or centimeters or millimeters or anything labeled. So we label it as units. Now, if you square this, that's really four units times four units. So four times four is 16. We're gonna leave pi as pi and we're gonna label it units squared. All right, let's take a look at number um, eight. The diameter of a circular dartboard is 18 inches. What is the area of the dartboard? The area. All right, well, here's what we know. We know that our diameter of the dartboard is 18. <clears throat> so we know the diameter is 18. We know we're looking for area. So area is pi times radius squared, <clears throat> all right? Well, here's our first problem. They give us the diameter, but we need to know the radius for our formula. So if you guys remember, cross my fingers from the couple, last couple of days, radius is half of the diameter. So half of 18 is nine. And this is labeled in inches. So let's plug it in. Area equals pi times nine inches squared. Okay, so all I did is I took out my R and I plugged in what the value of my R was. And now we're gonna solve it. So it's still pi. Uh, radius squared is nine inches times nine inches. Well, nine times nine is 81, not two, not 18 people. Don't get that confused, please. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna multiply the numbers. Nine times nine is 81. Then comes my pi symbol and finally my label, okay? And since I'm multiplying inches times inches, that's why it's inches squared. So my solution in terms of pi is 81 pi inches squared. Now I know I'm walking through this really quickly. In all honesty, you guys, this is actually what you could do. Okay, I would write the formula every time I would, I'd write it down every time, you know that your okay. radius is nine inches. So watch area equals Remember, keep your mute on because I'm recording. All right, so all you would need to do, nine squared, okay? All right, nine squared is 81, I reorder it. Now go back to your label and it's inches, but remember whenever dealing with area, you always are gonna square what you label it in. All right, so that might be a faster way of thinking about this, okay? All right, so now, okay, next. The radius of a circle is 10 centimeters. I don't know about you guys, but I have to draw this out. So here's my circle, here's my radius, and it's 10. What is the, ooh, look at this. We have to find the approximate area and the exact area. 
remember, when we do approximate, we're going to substitute in 3.14 in for this. All right, the exact is when we use pi. So we're going to do both of those right now. So let's start out with the exact area first because it's easier to use pi. So here's my formula. All right, I'm going to separate my two sides. Exact side and approximate side. Okay, exact, approximate. So always, 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 I'm going to start with the formula. Okay? Now I'm going to substitute in my radius. A equals pi times 10 centimeters squared. Okay, now I'm going to square it. Pi times 10 centimeters times 10 centimeters. Well, 10 times 10 is 100. So area equals 100. Now I'm going to put my pi symbol in there. And now I'm going to label it centimeters squared. All right. So this came from here. Pi goes here. And oh my goodness, where's my other? Hold on. I guess I'll use this. And then here's my label. All right. So now watch. Well, let's let me show you the other way. Okay. So now approximate. Again, look at what I'm doing. I always start with the formula. Now plug it in, plug it in. Pi has a value of 3.14. So I'm going to substitute in the value of pi. Radius is 10 and I'm going to square it. So this is where you can use your calculator. Watch. It's, you're going to go, you're going to type this in. 3.14 times, you could go 10 times 10, right? Or guess what? On most calculators, they have this little button right here where it's x squared. So you would go 3.14 times 10 x squared, and it will square that number. I still get the same answer. Okay, so again, you can go pi, which is 3.14 rounded, times the radius times the radius. Or, oops, you could go pi rounded, 3.14, times 10 squared. And you're still going to get the same answer. So the area is 3.14. Oh, 314. Sorry, hold on. Let me rewrite that. Area is 314. Now bring the label back. Centimeters. And since it's area, we square the label. 